in this episode of Health Inspired Talk. The descendants of Theta Clark Peters are proud of the legacy that lives on in Theta Care and proud of all of its team members who continue to care for everyone in our community. Inspired Past, Healthier Future, a $100 million investment to modernize the NENA campus, transforming healthcare for all and generations to come. If it touches your heart, anytime you can touch someone else's life, it's, uh, it's well worth it. The spirit of volunteering. Theta Care team members take time out of their day to address food insecurity in our region, living the mission outside of work. Our community is very close knit. And when there's a need, people come together. Caring for our rural communities, how critical access hospitals are designed differently, focusing on the needs of those living in the area, providing comprehensive care when minutes matter. We have many people who need our services and our help to be able to achieve the goals of what they want to do to run. So to me, it's like a perfect combination, perfect fit. And supporting partnerships and community events, creating a better future together. Welcome to Health Inspired Talk. I'm here with President and CEO, Dr. Imran Njabi. Dr. Njabi, thank you for being with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you. This episode, we are going to feature some important initiatives from throughout the year, and Dr. Njabi is going to expand on those topics and tell us a little bit more about how they relate to Theta Care. Sounds good. Okay, let's get to the very first one. Now, Theta Care has served the people of Wisconsin for more than 113 years. Now, the opportunity to deliver care was made possible more than a century ago when Theta Clark Peters directed a significant portion of her estate to be used to build a hospital in Nina so that people in the community would have local access to medical care. In 1909, Theta Clark Memorial Hospital opened with 20 beds, one operating room, one emergency room, and a delivery room. And in recent months, ThetaCare has announced a significant investment to modernize the Anchor Campus at Nina. For more than 112 years, ThetaCare and its team members have been honored to serve hundreds of thousands of Wisconsinites, empowering each person to live their unique best lives. The ThetaCare Board of Trustees, along with the support from the ThetaCare Nina Foundation, approved a $100 million investment to enhance and expand services at Theta Care Regional Medical Center in Nina. A large part of the modernization includes expanding and redesigning the emergency department. Our organization is honored to continue serving patients and families and empowering each person to live their unique best lives. It's great to see the progress that's being made as part of the modernization project. Lots of work being done. What are your thoughts seeing some of that? Well, I'm uh, super proud, as you can imagine. Uh, this is part of our legacy together. Um, you know, folks that were here 113 years ago that made all this possible, we get to stand on their shoulders to continue the work. So extremely, extremely proud. Now, there's some great work going on as far as the um, main street is concerned at um, Nina. And that's going to be a complete uh, sort of revolution, if you may, of how you experience um, the regional medical center. Just bringing, for example, that cafeteria to the first floor is going to be a game changer in itself for the people of our community. Um, and then the work in the ED, that is just um, going to be another one of those unbelievable uh, projects that completely change the experience of people in our community. Not just because we will create more room, but the fact that that helicopter moved from where it used to be to right in front of the emergency room, and that people don't have to go through that corridor, I mean, the first thing I heard when I came here was, can we change where the helicopter lands? And so it's taken us a little bit to, to get to this point, but you know, 
uh, it's absolutely the right thing to do for our community, and I'm very proud of our team, of people that are doing this work, and the people that are working under the conditions they are currently to make it happen for our community. It is. It's an exciting time. So can you explain to us just a little bit about what it means to be a not-for-profit healthcare system? Yeah, Cass, the way I uh, talk about it is, you know, um, we are not a for-profit health system where we have shareholders, right? I mean, we are not making dividends. We are not giving money out to anybody um, because they have invested in Theta Care. The work that we do is to just improve the health and well-being of the people of our community. So every dollar that we make gets reinvested either in Theta Care, in the projects like we just saw, or within Theta Care's uh, community by virtue of the work that we do um, in social determinants of health and our population health work. Um, and many, many, many areas where we are doing, you know, work with people with obesity or education or uh, transportation, all of those things require investment, and that's our way of investing back into the community. Really good way to explain it for us. Thank you. Appreciate it. So let's take a look at one of those initiatives now. As a presenting sponsor, ThetaCare supports Make a Difference Day with Volunteer Fox Cities each year, focusing on a unique issue, and this year it was food insecurity. Through the Employee Volunteer Program and as part of the day, helping friends, neighbors, and colleagues, ThetaCare team members jumped in to help each other. We look around in our community and we think we don't see it, but it's here. Food insecurity is real. It's not just about hunger it can lead to chronic disease, and it can even lead to mental health. It can lead to trauma. It can lead to social isolation issues. At seven of our locations, we are building 1,000 food boxes to go back to patients in our communities. Nutrition plays a big part in the health of the communities that we serve, and so we made sure that the boxes have vegetables and fruit and uh, good carbs, pasta and spaghetti sauce, things like that, so that they're getting the right nutrition that they need in their bodies. I mean, our team members have been working on creations of kindness over the past month, making things to put in our food boxes. We are a safety net for a lot of people in our communities, um, and it's important for us to make sure that we're contributing at every level. It touches your heart. Anytime you can touch someone else's life, it's, uh, it's well worth it. Dr. Andrabi, your thoughts about that video? I'm a little emotional, to tell you frankly. Um, this is Therakir's mission in action. Um, and action. And that particular day, um, I, I got to witness and experience something uh, in the room beyond the fact that I was super proud of the people at ThetaCare who were taking time out of their personal lives to be there to make a difference in the lives of others. But then I saw children. Not only are ThetaCare team members doing what they were doing, but they were inculcating that thought process into their kids to do the same for the community. And it was just so heartwarming to um, see that uh, and experience that. But the impact. So think about the fact that all of these team members are coming to work every day having impact in the lives of people just by virtue of what they do, mm -hmm. right? And then taking time, additional time away from their families to have more impact. If that's not a mission-driven group of people, then I don't know what mission is all about. Taking it outside of our walls. Yes. All right. Thanks, Dr. Andrabi. Next story here. In addition to the regional medical centers in the Fox Valley, ThetaCare serves thousands of people in our rural communities as well through five critical access hospitals, including one in Berlin. To ensure access to increasing demand for emergency care, the emergency department in Berlin recently underwent a significant update. Dr. Andrabi, this was a unique plan to really meet the needs of the rural community. I'm just so proud of the community and what they have come together to support.
Our community is very close knit. And when there's a need, people come together. We have added a bereavement room. This room is a really nice room for patients, families to go if their family is in crisis, the provider needs to talk with them, or they just need to be alone together. Our trauma room, it's also a positive pressure room. So if we actually had to come up and do a procedure in that room, it's almost like they have been in an OR. That is new. Our ambulance garage is a two rig garage, but it's large enough now where the rig can pull in. When we pulled into the old garage, we would have to unload on the outside into the elements. The garages were small. Seeing this is gonna be easy to unload, easy to get in, quicker access, so faster treatment for patients. It's a great place to be able to serve people. It means so much to this community. For us to be able to continue to have an emergency department and care for people, it means the world. ThetaCare is on a path to reinventing healthcare, becoming a proactive partner in everything that we do. Dr. Andrabi, how is that happening? You know, it's uh, very interesting. A lot of people ask me, what is population health? My answer is um, know the people that you're taking care of and meet them where they are. End of conversation. That's it. So <clears throat> you look at this video, and um, it's all about knowing the people of your community and meeting them where they are. It didn't just happen just because. It happened because people involved were actually thinking about it, were intentional about how to keep people in the center of our decision making, right? And then you look at how the community came together and funded the program as well. So this is a movement. This is life inspired in action at a population level, at a community level. And that's what we're trying to do, making a difference one day at a time in the lives of people that we are so privileged to serve. Making a difference one day at a time. Love that answer. All right, our next story here. To ensure the health and well-being of all, advancing community-wide events like the Fox Cities Half Marathon is just one way that ThetaCare is helping in that effort. So let's watch as ThetaCare physical therapist J.P. Larson describes what inspires him to help athletes achieve their goals. My name is J.P. Larson. I'm a physical therapist here for Theta Care at OSP. I'd have to count, but I think I've done about nine full marathons and uh, probably at least half a dozen half marathons in my running career. I love to run, so I think I have a better understanding of some of the passion that goes into that. As a runner, having that taken away is sometimes taking away kind of almost a part of me and part of what makes me feel good and helps me get through the day. I have the honor and privilege of helping someone get back to doing something that they love. For some people, it's I want to be able to run a marathon. For some people, it's I just want to not have pain. That is like the highlight of my day when someone comes back and says, hey, remember I said I wanted to do this? I did it yesterday. Thank you. That's like, I mean, there's no better pay than that for me. I've had the opportunity of working with the Fox Cities Marathon in many different roles. To see that excitement in people and in my profession and knowing that some of these people I may have helped get to that start line, that's a great day for me. Team members like JP have incredible stories. And like we always say, there are 7,000 of those stories just like that with our team members living life inspired. So what does it mean to you when you hear that from team members? I can sleep easy. Um, because it, it is more than a handful of people, right? And this is team members being mission-driven, um, being vision-driven, being principles-driven, and living a life inspired every day. So you know, somebody like JP does his work every day um, in, in, in the work that he's doing, and then he does the work outside of his work uh, in empowering people to live their best life. And so... And as we talk about the marathon and why ThetaCare responds to that is because it's about the health and well-being of all of our communities. And JP is um, utilizing his talents to, you know, get people back rehabbed to where they need to be and then really accelerating people in their life when they are not sick to be the best they can be so they can run a marathon, right? So different aspects. You don't have to be sick to be part of a healthcare system. Yes. It's about health and well-being, and it's a different thought process. So we don't become paternalistic and say, well, this is what health and well-being means. It is what it means to you, and we are here to help you achieve that goal. 
As we are heading into a new year, any thoughts as maybe you're reflecting on the last few months or looking ahead? You know, first of all, it starts with um, uh, gratitude and thanks to each and every member of our organization. Um, we are who we are because of all of you. That's what I'm most thankful about, that, you know, I'm part of an organization where people wake up every day thinking about how can I make a difference, right? We have been through a lot of challenges. There's mm -hmm. no question about it. Um, you know, the last three years have been challenging for a lot of people at a lot of different levels. I hope 2023 is going to be a better year. Um, you know, I hope that we can create some distance between the pandemic and us as we go forward. Um, but it's going to continue to be challenging for a little while. And I'm very hopeful and I'm very um, optimistic and very confident that even though we may not have all the answers, we have the right people, we have the right mindsets, we have the right community, uh, we have the right goals, we have the right mission, we have the right principles and values. And if we stay true to them and get up every day and continue to make that difference, we'll get to where we need to be and become that population health organization that we are striving to be. Thank you for being with us, Dr. Ndrabi. Thank you, it's a pleasure. And thank you for watching Health Inspired Talk. We hope you have a wonderful, safe, happy, and healthy holiday season. At ThetaCare, our mission is to help you live your unique best life. And we want to know what kind of questions you have when it comes to your health care. Leave your questions and comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe so you see the very latest in this series.